I'm a little bit late on these two, but it's time for another manga first impressions. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Geo here. I have to be completely honest with you guys. I kind of wasn't really looking forward to reading these two series from the basic premise. I wasn't really that excited about them. I had a couple of requests and I wanted to honor that because people, I guess people wanted to hear my opinion on it because I already did a first impressions on Ayashimon and Dororon and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I, I'm always willing to read new stuff. It's just the premise for these two manga wasn't necessarily to my liking. Protect Me Shugomaru is written and illustrated by Daiki Ihara, and it follows essentially the story of this pipsqueak bodyguard who's tasked to protect Miss Sanagi, the heir to the Ojo conglomerate, from the assassin known as Skull. What do I think about this series? Now, this isn't exactly my cup of tea. This is a series that heavily relies on slapstick humor and the absurdity and uh, cartoonish uh, world that these characters inhabit. Uh, our pipsqueak bodyguard, he's not necessarily the brightest. His heart is in the right place. He made a vow to protect Tanagi ever since they were younger and now that she is in, I believe, high school. He is a little bit younger, but nonetheless he finds a way to sneak into high school and, and fool everybody into believing that he's one of the uh, students there. He's pretty clueless and doesn't understand sarcasm or anything at all because Sanagi is constantly angry that uh, our bodyguard doesn't let her do anything. He's overprotective to a comedic effect. A bee would fly into the room and he would do everything imaginable to destroy that bee because the sting might be uh, lethal to Sanagi and be uh, orchestrated by the character of Skull. We don't really know who Skull is, we just know he's super bad and <laughs> our bodyguard will do everything imaginable to stop him. The characters are sweet enough and there's enough slapstick humor where it knows it's having fun. It doesn't, it's not taking itself too seriously. The character of Shugamaru, he's a kind hearted kid. He is honest to a fault and he's going to do everything to protect the main character. And sometimes that may annoy the characters and that may annoy the reader as well. I don't see this manga advancing steadily in the character development area. I just see this as being more episodic in nature of them trying to stop uh, potential assassination attempts, whether it's in school or another setting, or we eventually find out who Skull is and, and the fights that are going to ensue. A lot of the violence in this manga relies more on zany slapstick humor, which has its audience and obviously is a lot more juvenile compared to other stuff that was in the catalog uh, from Shonen Jump. It may not be for me specifically, and I kind of want to do continue reading it just to see how it evolves and to see if there is any actual progression to uh, the character stories. The art style is outlandish and super cartoony. It may not be for everybody. I don't necessarily love it, but I don't mind it either. I'm okay with stuff like this all the time because I, I do enjoy uh, silly premises in my manga and comics. True to the nature of the story, it doesn't hold back with the uh, exaggerated effects and gags. You literally see characters being electrocuted and surviving as well as sword wounds or axe wounds, I guess, not being as fatal. And uh, it's all of, uh, it's all played for laughs. And there's honestly no imminent danger when it comes to this story as of the initial chapters. That might change, that may not, we will see. But overall, it's just a fun, silly, lighthearted, uh, funny series. However, do I see it sticking around for long. Honestly, I think I can see this manga being canceled at some point because the plot, there, there's there's not a whole lot there. It's it's fairly simple. And, and, and if you like it, that's great. More power to you. I'm just uh, giving you my uh, impressions on it and what I think 
I think it's uh, a little bit too zany and wacky for its own good. But then again, you have stuff like High School Family that for some reason is still going. Uh, and you have more gag comedy like uh, Me and Roboco and, and stuff like that where even though it's episodic in nature and the premise is totally absurd, you keep coming back for more and more each week. A nice palate cleanser from all the craziness out there. So I get it. I get people wanting to enjoy something lighthearted like this. Shoha Shoten, a high schooler who submits jokes to radio shows and a former child actor aiming for the top of the comedy world. Like with the previous manga, this one, I, I was not interested whatsoever. The saving grace here is the art, which is by Takeshi Obata. You know him from classic series like Death Note, Platinum End, Bakuman, stuff like that. So I was interested because of the art. I wasn't expecting much from this manga because it's comedy based. And I find it, for me at least, I find it kind of difficult to laugh and enjoy a comedy series when I'm reading it. If it's an anime with the added gags and the timing and delivery of the lines and stuff like that, I can understand that and enjoy it and laugh. But with a written book, with a manga, for me, it's a little harder to uh, laugh out loud at stuff that at the stuff that they're doing and, and saying and all that. But I have to be completely honest with you. The writer, Akinari Asakura, I think he's doing a really interesting job with this series. I'm not necessarily laughing at the jokes and what's happening when it's humor based, but the plot is really interesting and really uh, wholesome. And I'm really looking forward to more and more chapters. As of this video, only three are out because it's a monthly series instead of a weekly thing and the chapters are double-sized, if I remember correctly, so you get a lot uh, a lot of material there, a lot of bang for your buck. And overall, just the fact that, one, you have the character, and I, I'm terrible with the name, so I'm reading them off from, a, from my monitor over there, Azamichi Shijima, who is a really big fan of comedy. It's his secret, his family doesn't know, and he wants to be a comic. He is famous because of his jokes and written material. However, he has crippling anxiety when it comes to public speaking and facing people in crowds and stuff like that, speaking up and standing for himself. Something happens early on where potentially the love of his life uh, leaves and he's not able to win her back. Uh, she wants him to tell him something funny or a joke and he just chokes and, and, and freezes up. And that's a recurring theme when it comes to that character, which I found really interesting, wholesome, and motivational because you see that he wants to progress. He wants to get better at that. And he finds that outlet through comedy with the character of Taiyo Higashikata, who was a former uh, child prodigy actor that started in a drama and now wants to make it to the you know, the comedy scene and, and be a successful comic. And he has his own ambitions as well, a very endearing one. His friend, um, former comedic partner, uh, sadly passed away. So he wants to be famous and make everybody laugh. So that laugh can, that, that whole wave of laughter can reach up to the heavens up to his friend. And I found that super wholesome and endearing and I'm, I'm just rooting for these two characters. Now the humor in Japan is very different from what you're used to in Europe or North America or Latin America. Everybody's different when it comes to jokes and routines. Slapstick humor, for example, is very different across the world or dark humor or whatever subgenre of comedy or uh, stand up and all that stuff. I'm not necessarily a funny, I don't necessarily follow a lot of comics and stand-ups and all that stuff. It's not really my wheelhouse per se. My, my humor is kind of bizarre and, and, and odd compared to most people. But I find the story of these two characters fascinating. And the fact that it is a comedy manga mixed in with tropes of like sports manga and coming of age stories and slice of life. I think it's a really nice mashup of ideas 
that look and, and sound well on paper. And I'm really excited to see where the story flows from there. The art is phenomenal. I love how clean and nice everybody looks. Even the background characters look really nice. And that is, of course, because you, you have a, a, an expert in Obata doing the character designs. They all look flawless and, and gorgeous. And I'm looking forward to that as well, to see more characters and, and uh, to see how the characters present themselves on stage in public and all that. Just a, a really nice, uh, unexpectedly wholesome series. I wasn't a fan of it going in and, and I'm, I'm all in now. I'm a fan. I can't wait for more. So definitely the highlight of the two in my honest opinion. So yeah, what are your thoughts on these two new manga? I know I was a little bit late on this, uh, but I wanted to give them more chapters because I wasn't sure at first if I wanted to uh, read them, but I'm interested to see where they're going, specifically with uh, Shoten. But what about you guys? Have you read these two? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't, what are some of your favorite comedic zany, wacky manga that you think I should check out. Thank you everybody for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. I truly do appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I do content like this, going over anime and manga, all that fun stuff. That's it for now. Thank you everybody for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.